welcome to another episode of Will It Laser, brought to you by House of Lasers. Uh, today, we are going to try several types of bricks. Uh, one of our subscribers uh, sent in a recommendation for us to give a shot on uh, uh, bricks. So this is what we have. We have a standard clay brick, and we have a paver brick, and then we have a laserable brick that has a special material inside uh, built right in to make it easier to, to laser engrave. So this isn't an uncommon thing to, uh, to laser engrave bricks, but we're going to show you exactly what it looks like and, and how it's done. All right, so we have the House of Lasers logo in there. Uh, we are also doing this at about five inches a second, which is relatively slow for an engraving. But with these, from my understanding, because I haven't done a lot of these, uh, you do have to go really slow and use a lot of power. So it's, it's pretty hard on the machine. Uh, not only that, it makes a mess because it's just blowing debris from the brick everywhere. Uh, we are at 90% power on our Thunder 100 watt laser. So uh, let's give this a shot and see exactly what happens. Let me see if I can find a good position for you guys to hang out and watch that. So as you guys can see, the result is a little bit of depth, uh, some color to it. I'm going to take some uh, denatured alcohol and wipe it down and see exactly what we have. Alright, and there you have it. That's what we're going to get out of a standard brick with you know no fill to, to color it. Um, you know, it it looks good and you would definitely notice it and it would last for a long time but uh, let's see what a regular paver will do so I have the paver set up now and I'm gonna run it the exact same speed and power as I ran the brick the clay brick and we'll see what the difference is between the two different types of material All right guys, so as we can tell, while it does remove raw material away, uh, most of these paver, cement paver style bricks are dyed. Uh, it's pretty interesting. But as you can tell, a clay brick versus a paver, we're definitely gonna get a much more noticeable uh, outcome from the clay brick as opposed to the concrete pressed and dyed paver. Now I'm going to laser engrave the brick that is specially designed by Laser Sketch. Uh, it has some sort of a black glass infused into the red brick, and their claims are the uh, the black glass and the brick will last as long as it stays intact. So until you actually crack it, um, you know, like a typical clay brick that was was used on our roads for ages um, this is supposed to last so let's see what the true difference is between let's say a uh, Lowe's or Home Depot bought brick the concrete compressed paver style brick and then a laser sketch for laser engraving um, brick that should truly engrave black so let's check it out I have come to the conclusion that if you are working on any type of fundraiser um, for like brick memorials or for the high school for the donations or churches uh, the laser sketch brick is absolutely positively the way to go 
Um, all of these are hard on the machine. You got to run them pretty slow with a high power. Uh, they get messy. They, they dirty your lens. But I mean, if you look at the difference between them all, um, the paver isn't going to work. I mean, it, it, you can use it, but you can see the results. This isn't too bad for being a you know 70 cent brick. That's not bad at all. But if you need something that's going to last for a long time, um, this is this is pretty nice, and um, I'm sure the customer, the end customer, will be very satisfied with it. Guys, thanks for joining us for another episode of Will It Laser, and uh, please let us know what you want to see next. Put it in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe, and happy lasering.